Once again, we're staying in our modifyingobjects.dwg file. We're staying in our little hot desking area, and as you remember in the previous video, we were working on that little partition wall to separate out the reception desk for the hot desking area in the office. Now, we're going to work with the trim and extend commands in AutoCAD 2021. Now, these are subtly different to previous versions of AutoCAD. Now, if you've used Trim and Extend before, you'll understand the differences very quickly and very easily. It's just a slight change in the workflow and the process of how you use the Trim and Extend commands. So we'll stay in the Home tab on the ribbon, and we go up to the Modify panel, and Trim and Extend are just here. We're going to select Trim first of all. Now, you'll notice that it automatically says select object to trim or shift select to extend. It's not prompting you to select your cutting edges anymore. Now, that's the difference. In older versions of AutoCAD, you were prompted to select cutting edges first or press enter to go into what I call the dirty trim mode. AutoCAD 2021 goes straight into dirty trim mode. So all the intersections on the drawing are cutting edges. So you'll notice now that we can tidy this corner up automatically like so. Can you see I can just select those lines and it will trim them back for me. If I do want to use cutting edges, which I will in a moment, I have to right click and there's the cutting edges option on the shortcut menu. So I'll just press escape once. And like I said, I can go straight into dirty trim now and trim that corner and make it look neat and tidy. Now, down here where it joins the other wall, I'll just pan up slightly, I'm going to show you the cutting edges. So I right click now and go cutting edges. Then I select one and two, like so, and press enter. And then I trim between the cutting edges that are highlighted and press enter to finish. As you can see, it works in the same way as older versions of AutoCAD, it's just the workflow has been reversed. So the dirty trim comes on automatically. If you want cutting edges, you have to select those on the shortcut menu. So we'll just pop a little short line now on the end here from endpoint to endpoint, press enter to finish, and we'll use match properties to make sure it matches with the other lines that represent the partition wall there. So as you can see, our little sort of alcove, our little sort of cubicle for the reception desk is now all nice and neat and tidy. Let's pan across slightly and zoom out slightly. You'll notice there's just a boundary line here. There's no actual wall to block off this hot desking area. And we don't want all the noise from the entrance hall here affecting the hot desking area. So we want to extend this one and this one here up to this wall here. Now again, you'll notice in AutoCAD 2021 that the extend command is different too. So let's go back up to the modify panel, click on the fly out here and select extend. Again, it's prompting you to select the object to extend without selecting the cutting edges first. So what we could do here is if I hover there, can you see it's automatically showing me where these are going to extend to. So that one there is only extending up to this line here. So ideally, I want to make sure that I've got a cutting edge. So I right click, cutting edges, and I want that edge there, like that. And then I press enter to confirm. This time, if I select that one, it'll go up to there. And if I select that one, it'll go up to there as well. If I hadn't set the cutting edges this time, it would have just taken this right hand wall line up to this line here, which is not what I wanted. So I press enter to finish now. So you can see the wall is in place. We do need to tidy things up a little though. So let's zoom in a bit. That line there, just the regular line on color eight, the A010 layer, we're going to delete. That makes us actually see the wood for the trees with our wall. And now we can go back to our trim. And the good thing about the trim is it's automatically in dirty trim mode. So I can just zoom in can trim that bit there, pan down, tidy up this little bit here by getting rid of that one and that one, enter to finish and zoom out. And you can see how quick and easy it is now to add that wall and obviously sort of partition off now our hot desking area from all the noise in the entrance hall in the building. 
And as you can see as well, you've utilized now the newer methods of trimming and extending in AutoCAD 2021.